day has come. I can finally leave the hospital. Saying goodbye to my fabulous medical team is bittersweet. First thing I'm gonna put up when I get home. <laughs> Don't take it the wrong way, hope I never see you again. <laughs> Except for the anniversary party. Yay! After 30 days of isolation, I take my first breath of fresh air. I remember the wind was blowing and feeling the wind and just feeling the air, it just washed over me. It's just overwhelming to see the sky. I'm like how you all when you used to come to New York, golly, that's a building. <laughs> <laughs> There is no place like home! For the next few months, day in and day out, I would stay in my apartment, a virtual bubble from the outside world, away from the germs that could derail my healing. Little by little, I began to add to my life, building up my system and getting strong. After a long five months, I was now ready to venture out and start giving back. You look great. It's Thank so you. nice to Thank see you. you. Now, I could be the one to offer encouragement, and this morning to someone early in recovery from the very same transplant I had. David! Don't worry. Another reminder of how close this strikes, David Aponte is a colleague of mine, a sound man at ABC News. And look at who's, who's here. Sound man, be, sound man to sound man. I should be doing exactly what you're doing. Never give up, don't ever give up. And that's what we're doing. It's, it's nice to, to talk to somebody who's in the same business and gone through it. Mm -hmm. Sorry for kissing you. I know no, we're no, I, no, no, I got, yell at us. No, <laughs> it's worth it. I'll, I'll roll the dice. You're a family. You are forever family. David's fight is just starting, and thankfully he is doing well. And to offer him hope, well, that's just a blessing. Another blessing, something as simple as being able to sit down with my GMA co-anchors at a restaurant where we'd eaten together so many times before. Sitting on the couch the day of the diagnosis, and something that you said, Josh, when I said about fight, you know, that focus on the fight, not the fright, and you said it's our fight. What I was going through, we were going through together. Good morning, everyone. Hello to Robin at home. We are getting... yeah, No, I love it when every morning when you say, you know, Robin at home. You know, we got some news from Robin. I learned a lot by how you shared the fight. And by sharing it, you've, you know, helped countless people, and that is a huge, huge lesson. Welcome home. Good to be here. Welcome back. Thank you. So good. Onward. Onward and upward. And upward. But I knew that before I would be able to return to the set and to my GMA family, it was time to go home, and I needed to do that before I could come home to GMA. I needed to be on my family's home turf to see some of the oldest friends I've ever had. The Gulf Coast is my home. I wanted to be with my family for a Super Bowl reunion weekend, and there were also so many people to thank. Southeastern Louisiana University, they are making it happen. Swabbing for Robin, what everybody? All the bone marrow donor drives like swabbing for Robin at my beloved alma mater and be the match. The thousands of people stepping up to be donors. The utter outpouring of love. And so many people wearing those bracelets to show their support. When I see someone wearing the bracelet, there's just something that tugs at my heart. Light, love, power, presence. Oh 
being back home was not just a big step for me emotionally, but physically too. I have the fragile immune system of a newborn baby. See you. Welcome back. Good to see you. I gotta tell you, following my doctor's orders to avoid germs is not easy, especially around lots of people like these wonderful supporters. I just want to hug. Many out here on this morning to watch GMA broadcast live from New Orleans. I do not like being told I can't hug. I am a hugger. I'm proud of it. I've been told I'm a very good hugger. I'm Southern. It's what we do. It's as hard. Just seeing you makes me like the happiest thing in the world. Yeah. I am so glad you're back. Thank you. And I feel, and I, because I know when I look at you, looking at me, I can tell I'm getting better because the way you look at me is like you know I'm back. The truth is that while I believed I would be back in the mix, deep down inside, I just didn't know. I wasn't really sure that I'd ever again travel the familiar road from New Orleans to my childhood home in Pascrishan, Mississippi. Coming home after a parent's death is something most of us have to face at one time or another. I hope sharing this moment might show how overcoming loss is possible even under the worst of circumstances. Let's go inside. Thankfully, my sister Dorothy was there for me to lean on. It, and she's happy. She's up there. Wow. Wow. Goodness. <laughs> it's beautiful. It looks just like when I left it. Mm hmm Oh. I am going to miss I mom know. sitting right here the most. I know. There you go. I think about that time that you both were in New York, mm -hmm. one of her last visits, and we went to a recording studio at her request, and she played the piano, and you sang, and... When we all believe Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Bravo, Mother. Oh, mercy. She could just sit down and, and just glide. <sighs> oh, nice to see you. <laughs> to come together here with my sisters and my big brother Butch is another energizing step in my healing process. Without mom, we have to make a concerted effort to stay close. And and I think that that's our next journey, if you if you will, to continue that close-knit family which I believe that we we are. Uh, the outpouring of love for people that I just, I don't even know or barely know, stopping me and saying, hey, I watch your sister, I love your sister, how's your sister doing? You are on the road to spectacular health. The, the darkest hours are always before the dawn, and it's a new day. It's a new day. Three, two, go. Katie, she sat down with him for several hours, asked him. I was feeling ready, but getting back in the anchor chair would be the next big step.